In this video, we're going to be installing a plugin inside of Open Broadcaster software. Now you may notice that my scene switcher plugin, normally the item on the bottom of this list, has actually been removed from OBS. So we're going to spend a little bit of time adding it back in and I'll show you where and how to do it. So first off, as for where you find plugins like the simple scene switcher, you can go to the obsproject.com website and many of the best plugins are going to be listed within the plugins form. So this is forms, followed by resources, plugins, and OBS plugins. So if we were to go ahead and follow through on this download, we'd get the files necessary for the scene switcher plugin. For right now, I'll show you that I do in fact already have the files on my computer ready to go. So this is the scene switcher directory followed by the scene switcher DLL file, which is specific to the Windows version of OBS. You'll have to keep in mind that certain plugins aren't going to be compatible with all different operating systems. This one is specific to Windows, you can tell because it has a DLL file, and I believe I didn't see a Mac version. So if you are running Linux, you might be out of luck for this specific feature. But once you have these files, you can select them. So I'm going to have them cut in Windows ready to paste. And then we go to the OBS directory, which is going to be in Windows, C, Program Files, OBS, and Plugins. If you are running the 32-bit version of Windows, it would instead be Program Files, and then in parentheses, x86, which represents 32-bit. But all we need to do now that we have the files downloaded off of the OBS website is to simply paste them into this directory. So if your plugin is in here, you should see the DLL file for that plugin, and you should also see the directory with all of the locale data. What this directory contains is different text for different languages so that the plugin can automatically be translated into the version of OBS that you're currently using. But the real plugin is this scene switcher. You do want both in the directory though. So now we can close OBS out, open it back up. And now that we have the plugin installed, we can go to settings and we'll see the scene switcher at the bottom, which we can play around with. What the scene switcher allows you to do is have OBS automatically switch between different scenes in OBS, depending on which window you have selected at any given time. We'll be covering this specific plugin in the next video. So see you then.